You're watching the Realme 8S 5G disassembly. If you want to see more videos like this, make sure you like, subscribe, and click on the notification bell so you'll be notified the next time I upload a video. If you need any tools, there are links in the description. We need to start off by removing the SIM tray. Once the SIM tray is removed, we're going to use a hair dryer or a heat gun to apply heat to the back plate so we can loosen up the adhesive underneath. And then we're going to use a plastic pry tool to pry the back plate off. Here's a better look at the plastic back plate. Once the back plate's removed, there are two Phillips screws which need to be removed so we can lift up and remove the camera lens cover. The glass piece of the camera lens cover can be replaced by applying heat and prying the glass portion off. On the back there's some strong adhesive which holds the camera lens cover down. At this point we have 17 more Phillips screws which need to be removed. Once we have those screws removed we're going to place a plastic pry tool in between the back housing and the frame of the screen and run along the edges to pop off the catches. Now we can carefully lift over the back housing to the side and then we're going to have to disconnect the battery cable first. Once the battery cable is disconnected, we can proceed to disconnect the fingerprint reader cable. The back housing is plastic as well. The NFC antenna is located at the top center, and there's an antenna flex cable to the right of that. There's also a graphite film which covers part of the battery and goes underneath the NFC antenna. On the other side, we can see numerous antenna flex cables on the edges of the back housing. Also, the LED flash is located right here. Now the graphite film covering the front-facing camera connector needs to be peeled off. Once we peel that off, we can disconnect and remove the front-facing camera. We can proceed to disconnect the rest of the cables. There are two coaxial cables located on the right side of the board which need to be disconnected by popping them off. Now the main board can be lifted up and removed. On the main board there's a 64 megapixel primary lens, a portrait lens and a macro lens. The flex cables for the cameras can be disconnected by just popping them off. There's some copper tape over the shields and some rubber gaskets around the connectors. The SIM card and memory card reader is located on the back side and the proximity sensor is located on the top. There's more copper tape on the back shields as well as some thermal paste. Once the copper tape is peeled back, we can see more thermal paste on top of the processor and this chip over here. There's also a thermal pad over the RAM. Now it's time to remove the speaker assembly. There's some more graphite film over the speaker assembly and there's a mesh filter over the speaker opening. And here's a look at the speaker itself. The other end of the flex cable connecting the subboard to the main board needs to be disconnected as well as the other two ends of the coaxial cables. Now the subboard can be lifted up and removed. There's a rubber gasket around the charger port and headphone jack. And the primary microphone is located in the center. There's also a rubber gasket around this connector. Here's a look at the other side. In order to remove the battery, there's a provided pull tab to help us pry the battery off. Here's a better look at the battery. Now that we have the battery adhesive tape pulled to the side, we can see this flex cable which connects the main board to the subboard, as well as the screen cable over here which is routed through an opening in the midframe. If you needed to replace your screen, you would have to remove the back plate, as well as the screws on the back housing and remove the back housing itself, disconnect the battery cable and the screen cable, and then you would have to pry the battery off, Heat up the front of the phone where the screen is so you can loosen up the adhesive underneath, pry your old screen off, 
apply new adhesive, reapply your new screen, making sure you run the cable to the opening over here in the mid-frame, and then you reassemble your phone. Once this flex cable is peeled back, we can see a 3D layer of graphite, which sits underneath the battery, as well as the motherboard. Here's how it looks like when it's peeled back. Moving on, the vibrator motor is located on the bottom. The flex cable for the power button clicker is here, and it's held down with some adhesive. And the flex cable for the volume key clickers is located here, and that's also held down with some adhesive. So if you need to replace those, you could gently pry them off. And finally, the earpiece speaker is located on top, and if you wanted to replace that, you can gently heat it up and pry it off. When it comes to repairability, I give this phone a 7 out of 10. There are a number of components which need to be removed to gain access to the screen cable. However, one good thing is there's a provided pull tab to help you pry the battery off. Now it's time to put the phone back together. Once all the screws are back in place, apply new adhesive and reapply the back plate. Flip over the phone, power it on, and you're done. Thanks again for watching and I'll see you in the next video.